Previously on Sons of the Forest. Onward. Unafraid. Okay. Maybe just onward. Oh no. Oh no. I've been through so much! Don't do this! And today, we are going to be using our rope gun to make ourselves, well, our life a little bit easier. The first thing I want to do... <gasps> Virginia! Act cool. Look, she'll be ours in a little bit, but, you know, she's having her little meltdown. I did make us some food, so we're looking really good. And I got me some water, so all of that is taken care of for now. But I'm thinking, the first zip line I want to make is from this tree line over here. That's to make it easier for me to chop down trees and bring them down. Maybe even this tree line I'll get rid of. Because if I get rid of this, then I will be able to see the mountain from here. So let me go ahead and grab a couple of logs since we don't have a tree here. And I am going to place them... Oh, I don't know. I just want to place them somewhere that I know won't fall right into the water, you know? What about that? That way I don't have to use the two logs. Go ahead and drop that and I will shoot here. And drag it down all the way. I think this will be long enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I think we can't go... <gasps> we can't go backwards! Oh, that's so freaking beautiful. There we go. One log. Two logs. You have to give it a second. I just want to see if they end up in the water. We might need to make a, like a log catcher down there somehow. I'll probably work on that. But my idea wasn't just to do this. I mean, this is very simple. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little tower here. Just so we can connect to other parts of the world. So my plan, my stratagem... Look, I don't know if this is going to be a waste of time, but who cares, right? What else do I got to do? I am going to connect to that cave right there. This one's kind of important because it has the 3D printer. So that's going to be really, really nice. As well as we will be able to get through this lake. So let's see about building just like a simple tower, maybe. So that it's a little bit more elevated. I don't know how this is going to go, but I guess now we have the ability to get ourselves some wood a little bit quicker. I said I wasn't going to build in the lake. Not until the winter. But man, I think this is going to be totally fine. It's not going to be too, too bad. We're not making a huge tower, mind you. Uh, because obviously we wouldn't be able to finish it otherwise. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. But I do want something. Like just a little some some. Yes, we could just make a rope. You know, with like some walls and go all the way up to the top. But I want it to look a little bit better than that. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be the best looking thing in the world, but... You know, a two by two, I would say. That that seems reasonable. Okay, we're going to use a full log. Yep, and that's going to leave a tiny, tiny chunk, which is going to be totally fine. These little chunks are kind of useful. You can use them for other things. You can use them for half walls, just decoration. Uh, come here, my man. Yep, I know you're going to attack me. So let's just get it over with. I swear if you attack Kev, I am going to be so pissed. Yeah, you are attacking Kev. How dare you? I'm trying not to kill my zip line. <laughs> they were trying really hard. Oh, we got the guy. We got him. And now he's gonna go in the pit. Guys, this is how it starts. This is how we end up with boxes and boxes of bones. There we go. And I've added another one from this side. So we are able to get all those trees as well. I don't know if Kev can, because, you know, he has like a little bit of a hard time going through water. But I will be able to. And that's the most important part. The next stop, though very clearly, will be the printer. I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> They're grabbing the lock. Okay, okay. We're at peace. Don't worry. I guess I'm not at war with these guys. That's great. I've ran into a bit of a, well, a building whoopsie. All right, which is, I don't think. So, like, let me remove this so I can show you. I don't think we can make stairs. So, like, the stairs would be like this, I believe. So, we are definitely going to need a 3x3, three three, not a 2x2. Two two. So, this tower is actually going to be way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Here, my thought was to make just a tiny little tower. But, you know, these things happen, all right? Sometimes you think you're getting something and you're going to get something completely different. All right. He's just observing. Kev is just running a marathon out there. I am quite... You know, I wish we could make peace with them. Like, some of them, at least. I had to brace myself. This mud boy will want to attack me. Oh, he's just taking little shots at me with the rocks. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> no! 
Well, well, well. You got yourself into a little bit of trouble, didn't you? <laughs> Look, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was being very friendly. He did it to himself. Good news is, though, Kev is now safe. Oh, let's get the meat out of there. We don't want any contamination. Okay, the tree platform is complete. But because the tower is not finished, I think it would be better to connect from here all the way out there. Just so we can haul some logs back. I'm gonna shoot, I guess, like, a little bit higher up. There you go. To give it some, you know, distance. And then we're gonna go. Oh, no. Did that remove my... <gasps> you can't swim with it. I repeat, you cannot swim with it. That's okay. That's okay. It's not gonna be a big deal. I should be able to go around the lake. I hope. Dude, we're gonna have to protect this log like it's our life. <laughs> it kind of is. Boop, right there. And it's connecting everything. Holy crap, this log is just... There's a lot of writing on this log is all I will say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's send this back. Goodbye, logs. Oh. <laughs> you have to be facing the way you're sending them. And then we're gonna write back. Wee! Dude, I love this so much. <gasps> oh, no. Dude, I did not mean to land on this guy. Hello, red man. Oh. A lot of bad guys are coming for me now. <laughs> They did not like that. I don't think they like that at all. All right, I'm going to connect here just to see how long I can go. And I'm going to head over there. Goodbye, mud boys. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, eventually, this thing will just rip apart. We'll just clink, you know? <gasps> I wonder if we can just leave it here, too, so we can collect these. So if we do a treehouse here, right? If there's some issues, by the way, with getting all the way out there, like in one shot, we should probably put it here. No. No, I'm out of rope. The baton, the baton, it's back. I forgot I got this little sucker. But yeah, we're back to where we used to have a house. So this is like an area that I know very well. I know there's two boxes here. I don't know exactly what they usually have. But, you know, sometimes they have different goodies. I'm pretty sure they're random. So we're going to go that way. And the cave is right here. This is the one we were at yesterday, I suppose. And it was just horrifying. I don't know if all the stuff in there respawned, but for now, I am going to hope that it didn't. I'm going to try to get what I can out of here. Outside, there's some boxes, so that's really good. And I think there's a rope here somewhere. <gasps> yes, there it is. There it is. So simple, so simple. There's a lot of food in here. At the very least, there's some cloth, which is great. And, you know, the questionable meat. Man, I got to go get me the flashlight. It's actually, like, super necessary. Not too many skulls, but yeah, look, there's rope up here and up here. That's easy to get. Are the guys back? I mean, we did clear it recently. It was cleared, I don't know, a couple of days ago, I guess. So it might not be that bad. I'm not going deeper into this cave, though. It's just cool to know that they don't come back. You will need a treehouse here. I don't know which one. Let's just go ahead and do this one. This is like on the path, or we could do this one too, but it's like a little bit of a chunkier tree, I guess. I could put it right here and land literally on the cave, but then I would have to go around to get up. No, 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 no. This one's the one. Hey, picking the best tree is a strategy, okay? To ensure success, I will also clear the trees that are kind of on the way. Oh, I am so sorry, Kev! But I have a stratagem. We are going to build this up. Yeah, I tried to fix this and um, I broke it more. Let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I'm going to focus on doing something in the middle here. So since I can't build out there, we're going to do like a little little tower here. Just a one-off. I don't know. Maybe that's better. <laughs> I don't know. I know there's one that you can do, like one of the building things here. Where is this? This thing, a lookout. Which looks okay, but it's a little bit... Hello? Oh. One down. Oh. They did some nice blocking there. Oh, no way! <laughs> we had more rope here, too. I forgot I put some away in case I found some. Oh, no. I really betrayed myself. Well, I was really just thinking about making another bone storage here because the bone storage must commence. 
I'll probably just put it here for now. It's not great, but it will do. Oh my, I'm out of sticks too. Don't worry, I have stick storage too. Look, I, I thought ahead, okay? This is what happened. This is what happened. I thought ahead. And obviously, oh, damn it, this is rock storage. <laughs> Stand by. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be indelicate. <gasps> she has the backpack. She has the backpack. Oh, yeah. Now, well, let's give her a little GPS. You know what? I'll give her a pistol, too. You're mine now. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully, she'll start defending us. I mean, she's got the pistol. Kill them all, Virginia. Kill them all. She's staring at them with a the gun. But, oh, there she goes. Assassin. <gasps> Look at those bloody legs. Timba! And kablam. Look at them. They're just gonna roll down. Let me just... Fluff her right there. There he goes. Nature's delivery system. I'm thinking if we wanted to, we could... Stop here. It doesn't need to be taller. At least not for now. But should it be taller? The answer is always yes. <gasps> the big guy! The good news is, he does get knocked out pretty easily with headshots. The bad news is, he hurts. He hurts so badly. He also takes a whole lot of shots to fully take down. But I think if we do... Oh! We got him, never mind. <laughs> He's the easiest one of them all! Hello? Oh, crap. I'm not gonna do this at every place that I go to, obviously. Oh, the wind is really kicking off right now. But, yeah, not doing it everywhere I go. I'm just gonna do it here because I just feel like we're close enough to the house and I'm gonna be farming a lot of trees on this side, you know, because of the zip line. So we might as well. I'm trying to farm the trees actually on this side of the map, so hopefully Kev is farming them on the other side. But I'll be honest with you guys, there is no way Kev is farming. Kev's been super lazy. Or, I think mostly their AI has been very confused. Oh, finally. I did it, I did it. Now, I think I just grab a rope and maybe it'll let me... <gasps> yes. Does it go all the way down? Oh, it does, it does. I could probably remove these now. I mean, I suppose they're extra support. But yeah, I don't think they need to be there anymore. That seems, you know, extra. And probably this one too doesn't need to be there. Hmm gonna lay this one down here. This was an extra from the top. And we should be able to climb. Well, let's put that away. Oh, that's finicky. But if I look down, I should be able to climb. There we go. Oh, it actually goes really fast. And here we are. <laughs> yes! Look, we're only three high so far, but I expect this thing to go a lot higher. And then, you know, my lake house, of course. Oh, guys, I'm so pleased that this is going to give me, like, a nice straight shot towards that treehouse. And then hopefully we'll be able to travel from there. I am so happy. Oh, this is working out. This is working out super well. Okay, where do I want to put the pillar, though? Because, I mean, realistically, I could... Hmm. I could put it in, like, a weird spot. Maybe I'll put it right here. Just so I don't fall off, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't think about this. How do I get a log all the way up there? This is going to work. It's also temporary. I put it on this side because, you know, obviously this is the way we have up. And if I put it on these edges here, I'll just fall. And I don't want to do that, right? I'd rather just slam my way here. And yeah, if I fall on that side, it's not too bad. But falling in the water is a big no. So now we just have to get the zip line over there. Oh, let's see if it works. Oh, we. <laughs> oh, that's good. And it actually stopped me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're thriving. We're doing it. Oh. Um. Yeah, we are out of zip lines. Okay. Now, the only place I know to get more zip lines is the plane. I'm pretty sure they give you a couple when you land. I mean, that's how I had some, I think. And our plane is not right here, unfortunately. It's all the way at the beach somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to this little area where the printer is. 
Because fortunately, the printer does allow us to make zip lines ourselves. There we go. It's only a hundred, too. Oh, we could get quite a few of these done, which would be great. But yeah, this is why it's priority to get this one done first. I probably shouldn't have done the one across the lake, but to be fair, the one across the lake is going to get us closer to here. There we go. Oh, yes. And I even land right there. Perfect. Oh, it connected. It connected. It connected. That means that we don't have to make another stop. Okay, that was a little bit close to the edge. I'm worried that on the way back, it's going to hit me and make me fall. <gasps> Please don't. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. That was so close. Oh, we made it. We made it. Hell yes. Let's try it again on the way back. Just don't tilt an inch because some of these trees are like grazing me. Yeah, that one was close. But I think as long as they're not directly on it, you're fine. Here we go. Please work. Please, please, please angle correctly. I beg you. We're going to have to go so close to each other. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I can't tell you how many times I've tried that. Okay, let's see. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. Please don't hit a tree. This is fine. Now, you might notice that we are really, really making these so close to each other. It's not on purpose, guys. The angle of the ground is making it so that I can't reach the one I want. Virginia, follow me, please. I don't want you to get injured. I don't want you to get harmed. And we'll just leave this one on the way. It's fine. I had a lot of attempts, but I think that's the little angle that I couldn't get right. And they just wouldn't connect. I thought for a second that maybe they messed up the zip lines during the update, but they didn't. It was me. It was human error. Sweet. Now one more. All the way home. Okay, and I made it over here just fine. I felt my life flashing before my eyes, though. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Just like that. The good news is we need logs. So I am just going to go ahead and chop them facing this way. And then hopefully we'll let the river do its thing, you know? Oh, <laughs> this one drowned himself. <laughs> That's what you get. This is hilarious. He's inside the thing. <laughs> Goodbye. That will be his burial. <laughs> I'm going to close this off again. <laughs> Luckily, we have a repair tool, too. So I can probably repair that. But where is Kev? And can he just... Please, come out of there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. After a full season, basically, of building the zip lines, I am finally ready to go. I am finally ready to take the final tour through my madness. Here is the cave. This is the printer one, if we look at the map. And then I will show you around to see the length of my zip line-ish. Now, we could make more zip lines as we find more POIs, you know, like points of interest. I will put more zip lines and more tree little houses like this everywhere we want to. Look, there's a little camp here. This was not really the reason why I made this tree house and zip line. It was kind of to connect the height of up there to here. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We proceed onward onto the base. The next one will lead us to the cave, the final destination, the place where we cleared the whole thing, the whole shebang, and where we could clear it again. Got him. Got him good. And I wonder if Virginia and Kev will now walk through the ice. Oh, yes, they will. Hello, Kev. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's running again. <laughs> he must have seen a cannibal. I think that's mostly the problem, that he keeps seeing cannibals and he just keeps running away from them. Yeah, yeah, so many. Easy. Any more? Oh, yeah, look at them all. I see them, Kev. I see them. One. 
you. <laughs> Big boy. Three. Uh oh. Ooh. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> My log. Actually, Kev's log. Okay, and speaking of logs, I do want to make myself a bridge. But I am kind of concerned on where I want to start it. So, like, I was thinking I would start it at the mouth of the river because they don't seem to cross through this as easily. And maybe make this the entrance to my base because I think that would be kind of cool. Um, this is obviously going to be the tower. And I was honestly thinking it would be girthier than it is now. You know, like a three by three. But this one by one is working out just fine for now. I, I could do the bridge this way. And maybe this would lead more towards the center of the lake. Which might look nicer. <gasps> yeah, I just want this view. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, don't mind all the trees that I've got it down there. But the view. Wowzies. Wow, wow, wee. I love it. Thanks, Virginia. Oh, no. Another round. Look at them all. <laughs> I've never seen a cannibal actually burn. He took care of himself. He just ran over the fire. Oh. More fire for you. Where is Kev? Oh, he's downed. He's downed. Oh, no way. Oh, that's unfair. The building was going fairly well. I helped Kev chop down trees and used our amazing zip lines to haul the logs. Despite the attacks, it was all going according to plan. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. Come back here! Well done. With so many foundations to lay down, and winter winding down, it was a race against time to lay down the frame. Oh, no. My man, I am so busy. Oh, oh yeah. Run away now. Oh, that was ridiculous. He jumped so far. Thank you, Virginia. Oh. Nice, Virginia. Are there more? Oh... Nice, Virginia. Nice. Nice, Virginia. <laughs> it's amazing. One more. Come back here, you coward. Oh, this guy's still alive. I think. No more. The last thing I need to do during the winter... Oh, no. Oh, there's more. <gasps> Virginia has single-handedly kept me completely fed. Thank you, my darling. Oh, this is so nice. You can drop the pouches in there. So that means you don't have to open it and it's a lot less items. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm also putting the skulls here. I'm going to drop some drinks. I'm just going to go grab some resources from around the world for a bit. Oop. Was that fine? I hope so. Oh, there's a little powder fly on my pills. That's great. I'm going to keep one in case I get a little bit injured, but I think I'll be fine 
I could also use a health mix, so it shouldn't be a big issue, I hope. I'm gonna drop everything I can. Oh no. Oh wow. It looks so great in the winter too. I want to kill that squirrel. I want to kill that squirrel so bad. All right, let's cross through here. This is going to be my little exploratory mission here. And if I find something cool, we could always zip line it. Is this thing still marked? <gasps> it is, probably because I missed the flashlight. And the guy's already cut down. Yep, that's what it is. I got it. Let me check the map really quickly. Yeah, the marker's gone now. Wow. I thought maybe I would check this one out too. It's really close, and it's beeping. I'm pretty sure I checked it before, and I think it might be the excavation site, which, you know, I can't excavate because I don't have a shovel. But because it's so cold and it is the winter, I am going to head back home. You know, Kevin, Virginia, they need me. And I got what I came for. I got this freaking cool-ass flashlight. No, 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 no. Oh, I've never seen a tiny one with a mask. It's usually the big guys. Oh... He is spicy. Right in the nads. Oh, you little monster. Don't beg for your life now! You're getting no mercy from me. <laughs> what do they expect after what they did to Kev? But look at him. He's out there doing his work. I've come up top, though, for a better view, and you can see this is what we're working with. The idea with this is that we're going to have a bridge over here, which is going to lead to my house. Now, don't think that this whole area is going to be the house. There's going to be an outskirt around it, which is going to be like a little, uh, I'd say like a porch. And then this whole right-hand side is actually going to be a garden slash, I don't know, hangout area. It's going to be outdoors, so again, we're not going to need walls for that. And you can tell that I've made a little pond within the big lake. So that's going to be filled with water. That's why there's no checkerboard pattern over there. And the reason why I did this pattern, I know you don't need it. So like if you just keep one line going all throughout, you can lay down the floor that way and it won't matter. The only caveat to that is that anywhere you want to have a wall, you need to have had a pillar underneath it on the bottom. So I don't know where my walls are going to go. I don't know what the design is going to be finally, you know, I have an idea but I'm not like a thousand percent sure. So I just figured I would just cover all my bases. I know it required a lot more logs. It certainly did, but I regret nothing. Just like I don't regret my winter with these two. It has been absolutely wonderful. I gotta say having Kev around has been just glorious. I missed him. I told you I needed him. Look at all these bones we have been slaughtering. We got the zip lines done. The zip lines were actually a lifesaver. Now, here's my only problem with this. Now I have to do the flooring. And like I said, that's going to cost a lot per little square, like two and a half per square. I'm going to try to do that as fast as possible because falling in this lake and trying to get back up is going to be miserable. One thing I can do, though, and just to be sure, if you fall in this hole while there's water is what I mean, you won't be able to get out. Like there's no swimming underneath it half the time. Nothing. You'll just be uh, doing this and you'll have to remove blocks and then they'll fly off because they'll be floating in the water and it's just going to be horrifying. So yeah, don't fall in the hole. My number one priority and number two is just to fill up the gaps as we go. But with that, thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you have enjoyed our zip lining and our base framing is what I would call it. <laughs> thank you, Virginia. And thank you, everyone. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye. Another one? You're a beast. <laughs>